Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be looking at this USB podcast microphone kit from Peridix. This is the Peridix USB podcast microphone and kit, available on Amazon for £45 in the UK. Putting this microphone and kit in that budget range of microphones that I've tested and reviewed previously. I will leave an Amazon link to this microphone in the description below. So what we've got here is another contender in the budget range that surprisingly has a number of good sound quality producing microphones available at a good price. But how does this Peridix USB microphone fit into this range? Before we delve into the technical aspects of this microphone, let's go and open this box and see what we're getting as part of the kit. In the box you get a foam shield microphone cover and Peridix branded double layered pop filter to prevent those popping plosive sounds when you're recording your audio. Obviously I'll use only one or the other. I prefer to use the foam shield when I'm recording. A Peridix extended warranty card. The instructions. A metal shock arm that attaches to the boom arm and absorbs vibration interference through the stand being detected by the microphone. A standard table clamp to attach the stand to. A 2.5 meter USB cable. A freely adjustable spring-loaded boom arm so you can move the microphone to your ideal position in or out or further or nearer to you. And the Peridix USB microphone itself, made out of the familiar metal body with matching as seen on other USB microphones at this range. It's nicely balanced in the hand. It has no adjustment gain or volume dials on this so any adjustments will have to be made within your audio software. The USB socket at the bottom is surrounded by a screw fitting, so if you do decide, you can attach it here to a third party mount. And now we've got it unboxed, I'll be recording the rest of this video using the Peridix USB microphone, transferring over from the Blue Yeti up there. So now the audio is coming from the Peridix USB microphone. How do you think it sounds compared to the audio from the first part of the video? Just let me know in the comments below. I think the audio from the first part of the video sounded a lot more in depth, but that doesn't take away from how clear, concise and natural the audio of my voice from this microphone sounds, meaning that it would definitely be a good option to use for your different audio requirements. This is what it sounds like at probably what I call the standard distance away from the microphone, and in comparison this is what it sounds like if I'm really close to the microphone, where you're going to get a more concentrated sound to your voice with a lot less background noise. Now let's look at the technical details of this microphone. It's a cardioid microphone, so it'll only pick up sound directed at it from the front of the microphone receiver, aiming to deliver a greater, cleaner and clearer sound capture. It has a sensitivity of minus 42 decibels, the ability to produce a studio quality sampling range of 192 kilohertz at 24 bit, and is able to handle sounds up to 125 decibels without distortion, and has a frequency response range between 100 hertz and 18 kilohertz. All qualities that potentially could make this microphone useful for studio recordings, voiceovers, music, and podcast production. Easy to set up and install via the ever useful plug and play method. This microphone is compatible with Windows, Mac OS and Linux systems. As it doesn't have any dials to increase or decrease the gain, any adjustments can be done on a computer by increasing or decreasing the input level in the device sound settings. As standard, the default audio level of the microphone may be perceived as being quite high, which is why it may be beneficial to turn the input level down, as recommended in the Amazon listing description. But this can also be monitored and adjusted via your audio software. In addition to those compatible computer systems, you can also use it on a PS4. I really like using microphones like this for gaming, as the nature of the USB condenser microphone allows you to have the freedom of not having to always be speaking right into the microphone for it to pick up your voice. So you could be further away at one moment and then closer at another moment and your voice is generally always going to be picked up by the microphone as long as you're within the cardioid pickup area. And you can always reposition the microphone on the boom arm but obviously the sound of your voice will be better the closer the mic is to your mouth. So that's the Peridix USB microphone. I really like how much you get in this kit for the money and at under £50 is definitely a good option delivering an awesome performance to price ratio which I'm finding a lot with these budget microphones. So if you're looking to level up your audio equipment and you're currently using the basics like a standard computer or laptop microphone to record your podcasts, take video calls or even produce video content like this then the kit bundle that you get in the box means that you'll be making a good investment no matter what in addition to the good, clear and concise sound quality that you're getting with this microphone. 
Obviously, if you've already got a high quality microphone, then a microphone like this probably wouldn't be for you. But definitely if you're getting started, then a microphone like this could be a great choice for live broadcasts, podcasts, YouTube videos, voice recordings, meetings and gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want, click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.